With the NHS Nightingale Hospital a few days from opening, the UK has recorded its first day of more than 500 deaths. 563 died in the country's hospitals in 24 hours. More will have died elsewhere. And the peak of the UK's epidemic is still two or three weeks off. The need for this vast new coronavirus field hospital is clear. Managers say its open halls are an advantage. When the workforce is our absolute limiting factor, we have gone back to what Florence Nightingale taught us, which is if we can see you, then we absolutely can make sure that you're safe and well cared for. We have been asked to be ready to open this week and we will be. When it's fully operational, there could be 4,000 beds here and other UK field hospitals are to follow. But although the UK is showing that it can ramp up hospital capacity, like with the mega project NHS Nightingale London, the government is facing increasing criticism for other aspects of its coronavirus response, like the comparatively limited amount of testing that's still being done. Fewer than 10,000 a day this week, several times that amount are being done in Germany. National Health Service staff queue at drive through testing centres, but many are being turned away. They said without a confirmation email the, um, that you won't get tested. So they're turning away any test off now as well. So I don't understand like why well, what the problem is. Just test the test you need to test the frontline staff so the test like so the frontline staff aren't passing on the, the infection to other patients. On Tuesday, news broke of the UK's youngest known victim yet, a thirteen year old boy called Ismail Mohammed Abdul Wahab, who had no apparent underlying health conditions. Because of the need and the way that this virus itself is, no one else is allowed to be around that individual. And that means you're on your deathbed in your last moments alone. And he was a young boy, age 13, without his mother, without any sibling on his, on his deathbed in the last moments. And that's very hard to sort of digest. But largely, COVID-19 hits hardest older people and the already sick. Prince Charles has released a video statement after recovering from his own encounter with the disease. As a nation, we are faced by a profoundly challenging situation, which we are only too aware threatens the livelihoods, businesses and welfare of millions of our fellow citizens. None of us can say when this will end, but end it will. And he praised the medical staff who he described as battling heroically to save lives in hospitals across the country. Rory Challens. Al Jazeera, London.